Hello and welcome. We're back in the division. I'm Reprobate Gamer, and this is a look at the Dark Zone in the Division Beta. Joined, as I was in my previous beta videos, by Jester7, who you can see here, practicing his jumping jacks for us, and number one, Paulie. Howdy. Both of these guys coming in with their AK 47s. I believe Jester is also running. Uh, looks like he's got one of the uh, light machine guns there, I think. Uh, anyone anyway, from my videos will notice my playstyle on this seems to be getting a bit more closer. So I've stuck with my M4 somewhat modded, I picked up earlier on. And I've picked also a converted SMG 9. You can see my backpack there. We're just trying out some of the destructible environments. I promise number one call is aiming at vehicles behind. So you can't fast travel into the dark zone. So this is my version of fast travel for you. The dark you. zone's walled off, and with good reason. It's where the infection hit hardest, to the point where no one, not us, not LMB, not anyone, well, could hold it. Now it's a no man's land, full of people willing to take their chances with the virus to get away from the factions in the streets. And what happens behind those walls? Well, very little of it is good. And we're going in this day. Level 8 in the beta at this point, so. I've not quite hit the level cap. You can see my XP slots like going up. Coming in of DZ rank 1. Right. Even in the beta, there are Stop wasting my time. Gear. Blue gear. Um, I actually can't remember what skills I'm coming in with. So I believe I'm Don't coming waste in my with time. first aid boost. Biohazard warnings. Uh, Entering contaminated zone. I know both the other two. Turret gun skills. Agent, your signal is getting weak. Yeah. Transmissions so jammed. Around this. Proximity coverage only. Walk into the dead zone. Backup activated. You can roughly System lose contact to it from the outside wall anyway. Caution. In terms of the outside Entering game wall, dark zone. Obviously. And there's various bits you can explore. We went straight to the subway, had a look around. We found loot boxes straight away. Uh, we went high enough level. And you start seeing players around. And everyone is aware of the whole business about rogues being there. So every time you see someone, you are very cautious. There you go. There's our NPC characters ahead of us. And this is the guy we met in the subway who didn't try and shoot us, didn't try and kill us. We were joining in. Um, and we get caught in this firefight right here. And I have to admit, I'm not doing playing very well at this one. My aim is rubbish this gun at the minute. Uh, and I'm, we're, we're really not giving these guys the respect. The fact they are a level above us. What we're also finding is, Alert. A member of your team uh, has I'm just not, at this point, I, what we control. think happened was we think the uh, Jester's turret gun just grazed that character with us uh, and did enough damage uh, to make us go rogue, which was nice. So of course this point we're showing off the map and absolutely everyone is closing in now to go, ha ha, you are ours. Uh, but yeah, so in these NPCs, we're not giving the respect they're due. And we're getting caught by this big truck, not really giving us the chance to um, get in and get around to them. Every time we're trying to get around, you can see there, I've been hit by several grenades at that point. So it's a couple of flame grenades. Got caught out, so. While Jester and number one Paulie hold the line, Spawning back in. Let's go to restock, shall we? I'm doing too much trying to find a way around them at this point, and I wasn't doing enough actually shooting of the guys who were shooting at me. So, let's get back over there and carry on with this fight. But yes, yeah, so with this big truck in the way, we're actually finding it tricky to push round. So we are whittling them down slowly but surely. Of 
course, I'm coming in running the standard gear. And their grenades are doing an awful lot of damage. That's kind of how I look at this guy. Maybe what marks me would be better at this point. I'm nowhere near close enough at this stage to try getting the, the SMG onto that. You see, when we're getting the hits in, we're doing reasonably well on it, but... I'm also, we're also just playing not using our active skills enough at this stage. And there's times where we should be... I'm seeing him about to throw the grenades and I'm... Warning them more poorly about getting back, and actually, what I should have been doing is warning poorly and pushing forwards. And there you see, this seems to be the build I've settled on mostly is assault rifle with a zoom scope of some sort on, so I could do some long distance engagement with it, and the SMG for the up close stuff. So I'm not as keen on the turret gun. I do actually like the pulse that I was using during the story missions in the beta. Um, so I've obviously picked up the game proper and played it. I've decided. Certainly, I find at this level, the fact that you actually get a crosshead target so you can do that kind of mid range engagements without being forced to look down a scope, I find quite useful but you can then scope it when you need to get in closer. And I'm also a bit more used to the fact that, you know, we've got these, we've got the extra perks and the talents and the abilities. And once you put the proper stabilizing mods in, so I, will, I will start uploading videos from the division proper very soon. But I want to get this one up there. Kind of show it does show you quite well how you do start adding your tactics into this okay that we weren't thinking tactically and we're basically spending a lot of time behind this truck getting shot at ah, yes, you can see it. and one Paul is also sticking with a submachine gun so he's gone for me and him are going very similar builds regards of what we've got here the difference being that normal Paul has gone has got our pulse. And I see both of them there were all the turret guns we were relying on a lot and we're kind of forgetting to push a bit more. I'm suspecting if number one Paul had been pulsing them a bit more we might have been able to do making these hits count that little bit more. And for all this game, we're always there, just that bit worried that, you know, what what's going to happen if someone comes behind us and someone starts shooting us from behind. And what we're finding is, you know, at this point, we're now going, oh, oh, mass stand up at this point. We're going, hey, 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 stand, stand down, stand down, you stand down. There is quite a bit. Certainly, I found this in the beta. And I, I will admit, I've not been back in the dark zone yet. I've not been able to get a steady fire crew together. And I think going to the dark zone, I'd like a fire crew behind me. But it does seem there seems to be a lot of people going to and fro and to and fro until either the groups go or someone just snaps and goes solid. And bear in mind, this is our first time through, so we're kind of looking at this going, are we meant to be shooting them? Are we not? And then you go, you know what, Rogue Agent, let's see what happens, it's the beta, no real consequences. But dang. Okay, so it's a full amount of, now full of my inventory. Hit rank 3 already. And as we're rogue hunting, me and Jess have seen this guy, like, yeah that's it, you're not getting away, we got you. We are coming for you.
And rank four, just like that. Those early, those early ranks in this game, you do go through very quickly. Yeah, and all those other people here, they've just gone. They just wandered off. And we're on Portugal, but they were all here a moment ago. And they're just, they're just gone. And this is where the limits the DZ inventory come in. If you're only carrying six items, because they need to be decontaminated. You do find yourselves looking up to things like this. Looks nice. This, I believe you can deconstruct stuff now. You've got it. I could be wrong. One. So now we're wandering away through going, well which extraction point do we go to? So we're now headed up to get to one. And you can always guarantee there'll be a pack of NPCs turn up just at the point of the the Russian tried to hide then. It didn't seem something they normally do. Okay, long the range of gaze when we the right. And they do a lot of damage to the six. I've got my longer. My longer scope attached. And I have no idea how that one hit got me. Obviously, there's someone sniping from the distance. But that just seemed to absolutely tear through my armor and health. And again, we've hit that point where we just seem to be stuck behind items. Now, I miss entirely that there's a hole in that fence. Yes, I'm going to have a lot to it. To be fair, I'm getting distracted by kind of being shot at by this guy. But I don't think to go back now and push through that fence. I very mind we've just come off that encounter with the truck. We're kind of looking at this going, we're being stuck in a tight alleyway again. And we make the dangerous decision to pull back at this point. It actually is something to Different spot. So here we are, we've moved along. And we've gone to this station instead. This is here. And Chopper is inbound. Here we go. It's a minute and a half now. What do you do? And no one stops us. So that space to the side behind the port before we came up. We've got this big open area in front of us. And of course, being new to the dark zone, we don't trust anybody. My intention is at this point is I'm kind of just letting, just letting you know, buddy. Try anything, we got you covered. I'm not. I'm, in my mind, I'm not threatening, him, but I can see if I'm aiming at him, why he might think that. And then, of course, this is the point where the turret guns will automatically target a non-hostile agent, which fortunately has been patched out since. So Chippy Chip Boy has come in, and then you see two or three guys aiming at him, and then start firing on him. So he quite rightfully opens fire. Sadly, number one Paulie gets caught in a rear attack from somebody else. And then me and him on the way back to try and carry on with just all servants extraction. Um, get ambushed by these guys. So we've been to now. So just as having to have a massive old fun. Again, you can see he's on the helipad. I'm not sure how many items he's trying to extract at this point. But he says he's fine at this stage, so we're not hurrying to join him just at this moment. I want to try and finish off the encounter with this guy here. Also, the fact that neither me or no more probably have any items in our slots at this stage. So yeah, we're taking a bit of time dealing with this guy. And 
concerned about now is stop watching the time. Concentrate on getting this last guy. More headshots! I really should. <coughs> Excuse me. The number one pull is trying to stay down. He's held down. I wonder if those are spam. Oh, they are spam. It's actually not doing a lot of damage to that FSC. Very positioned for the second wave. Very graphical glitch. Misreading Tyler when he goes from around there. I thought he was actually going to bounce with his head. Very quickly, agents will turn up. We're trying to work out at this point do we call another extraction now or do we pop and go out and get ourselves some more bits, some more items? We're going to do that. Just in the process. You've got a bird inbound another at your position. So, you know what? We're not waiting, we're going for it. So, Alright. We looked for that one before. Jester has no items in this one, so he's pushed forward to be a bit more of an advanced scout. Me and Paulie are holding back a bit more, because we've actually got items to put onto the helicopter this time around. I'm presuming at this point, Paulie may be a wall item. Depends what is in that blue loot drop he just had. Uh, I've got three items. Gone a bit more of a hunt around before this one came in, but you know what? I'm going to do it. So I'm waiting this point because I know this is where the helicopter appeared before. So I'm, this is where the helicopter is going to appear again. Surely it's going to appear in that one left hit. Just as pulled back because he's seen something come up. Whether it's other players or whether it's NPCs, I don't actually know at this stage. Ten seconds left. Ready for it. Just pushes back up into his cover. Commencing extraction. This is that mask from the right before it's actually here. It's not extracting, it's extracting. It's not there. Oh, it's over here. Obviously, this is where things sits. His flag. Extraction operation complete. Alright. So now we'll have a quick chat. It's like, where do we go next? Which we we'll A little bit later on, we're over here. You can see we've got a few more items. We've run into some more NPCs. I throw my truck down in a useful position. Still haven't quite recognized the big ones. Fire from the guys. Oh, 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 o
tell you the guy behind this bus shelter. Truck protects me from the guys on the right. And they still haven't got this guy behind the bus. Yeah, Random rusher, charges a fully armed random baseball bat, push through the house, we skip there ahead. Hello, I see. Grab a dark zone key at that point. So that was nice to know you could pick those up in the later, although I don't believe you'd have the opportunity. You which is a shame. Well, just, there are enough NPCs to keep you. You can't spend a lot of time just standing up. You will find groups of. Certainly we found groups of rioters were just pathing along. Skipped ahead a bit more, one or two just minor encounters. As that was showing me doing the first aid at long distance. And we decided we're gonna push on a bit, I believe, and have a look at it. Karen up. That's us having arrived at this uh, point. I think we're into DZ02 now. So I can't remember at this stage. We we'll go for a garage to get here, an underground garage to get to this point. And we're realising now there is a lot of people around here. There's a little video doing the rounds at the minute, about a minute and a half long, that shows various uh, Mexican standoffs from the girls. And this is pretty much happening at this point. Imagine me as some of you fucky psychic stepping in going, no, alright, that's alright, calm down, calm down, we're all friends here, let's put the guns down, let's chat civil, right here. We still had no one actually call for instruction at this point, so a lot of people went in to and fro, and no one's actually looking for themselves. Let's bite the bullets and fire this off. Every time you go in somewhere, you look around and there's another, another fire team. There's a lot of moving around at this point. None of us are quite certain so we should be aiming at the ice. They can't start shooting until they turn rogue. So you to turn rogue. You're meant to get more rewards if you turn rogue. But then everyone else will target you. Yeah, there, there's an awful lot of tension that this video is just not uh, showing through. 
while you are getting the little chat on the bottom left so you can see what, what other players are doing. You've got a bird inbound on your position. Managed to catch this when there's a contact. Why is it? Agent, I am inbound on your position. Solid. Just gonna go. Cargo extraction initiated. There's the There's the Delta and Echo issues. I never actually have to try it out. Well, not in the beta anyway. This one's just as good live. You've got a bird inbound on your position. And this time I'm going to give him a hand. He set up there at that point. Number one call has got the side. Very well established at this point. Got a minute to wait. It's it's fine. Yeah, this video really does not portray the tension you get going into the dark zone. I presume it eases off once you've been playing it for a bit, but that first time round, you're not entirely certain what's going to happen. And look, just as you know what's going to happen, we've got NPCs hovering around the head of the zone. damage and it's because Dizzy Legend 72 is behind me. And of course that means that should we see it but yes number one boy went down just a couple of seconds later. Just for seven's been able to come back in the time it's taken me to run to this stage. You can see those two are still rogue agents there. Just so that no one poorly can see this light up to this self safe construction point. So I'm staying here just to make sure he's got cover when he arrives. Now, watching those two rogue agents, we're trying to decide do we go on a hunting spree or do we try and defend the position again? So that suggests that Agent, I am inbound on your position. Two rogue agents. Push on. Down the two rogue agents. Stay here and push on. I 
Extraction is go. Commencing cargo retrieval. Ooh. Ah, it's him. You reckon it's Warning. You disavowed in a vision. Sorry, baby. My mistake here is to run this way. Not pay attention to the radar. Right is the priority. 15 seconds. Another shot, you should do it. So, yeah. I'm getting fairly shot up. Now, remember the guy who ambushed me from the side beforehand? Hello. Yeah. He was the guy who got me previously. It wasn't the NPCs. He was the NPCs. Thanks, Dizzy. That's the second time she's been So, you can see how quickly it was all around there. The NPCs have taken over heavy bags, so we're now taking over. Yeah, I just. Alright, I cut this down from over an hour's worth of footage. The dark zone was very good fun. Uh, looking forward to going back in there. But the chopper is inbound. Uh, yeah, we're fire team to back me up. Meanwhile, at this point, this is the guy who just really killed me. Commencing package extraction. Oh, yeah, I'll just let Bye for now. Dizzy, we must stop meeting like this.